Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a star rating interaction in Figma. And for this, I'm going to use the interactive components feature. So as usual, let's quickly see a demo of this and then I'm going to show you how to create this. So here we have the demo file and I'm quickly going to hit on the preview button here. So here we have it loaded up and these are the stars. And as you can see, once I hover on it, uh, it just gets highlighted. So this one doesn't make sense in a mobile application, but if you're creating this for the web app, this would definitely be cool. So as you can see on a mobile, I can just tap on this and you have this cool uh, interaction of the star popping out. So I can basically click n number of times and it's going to work. So this is the interaction that we're going to create and then I can just hit on submit. So let's quickly see how to create this. So here I have a fresh new file on Figma and the first thing we need is a frame. So I'm going to pick the iPhone 8 frame here. And the next thing we need is the star shape for which uh, we already have a shape in Figma. So here we have it. And I'm going to draw a star which is around, uh, let's keep it at 40 by 40. I think that should be fine. And if you don't like these sharp corners you can always go and increase the radius so I'll keep it at one this looks good so we have our star ready and I'm just going to duplicate it and the next thing you want to do is select everything and make it a component so I'll say create component so our component is ready I'll just take it outside and one more thing uh, initially we'll just keep it at strokes I think that would be good so I'll select all of these and I'll add a stroke and uh, we'll basically uh, keep the fill at white. So this is gonna be the initial state. And uh, as I showed you, uh, first thing we need is a hover state for which uh, we're gonna create uh, five states. If you're doing it for a mobile, you don't need this step. Uh, if you're doing it for web, this makes sense. So to make interactive components, uh, we need variants. So for that, I'm just gonna hit on this variant button plus here, and that's gonna add a new variant. So as I mentioned, we need five variants for the five hover states. And there you go, I have five variants extra added here. So in each of these, uh, I want to add the hover state. So for example, what I mean is if I'm hovering on the first star, I want a state which highlights the first star. If I'm hovering on the third star, I want a state which highlights all the first three stars. Let's create it, you'll get a pretty good idea. So I'm gonna select all these stars in an order. So in each of these states, uh, one extra star gets added and that is how we are gonna show it's highlighted. So the fill is gonna be the same thing as a stroke here, so it's BC. B6, 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 there you go. So let's quickly prototype this and then you should have a pretty good idea. So I go to prototype tab here, hovering on the first star, I'm gonna link it to the next state here and this is gonna be while hovering and we can have, you know, smart animate. I think 150 milliseconds should be good enough. And the same thing uh, with the second star here. So we are done creating the hover states. Uh, so let's quickly see a demo of this. All you gotta do is just press on the option or the alt key and drag it to your frame. So that creates an instance of the first main component. And all you gotta do is hit on preview. So as you can see, while I'm hovering on the stars, uh, those number of stars are getting highlighted. So it's working well. And the next thing, uh, as I showed you, we need to create basically, I guess, 10 more states. So five intermediate states and uh, five final states. So what I mean by that is when I click on a particular star here, right? I want these to grow from a small uh, from a small size to a bigger size. So for that, we need an intermediate stage. And then from there, it will go to the actual state. So let's quickly create it. And then you must get a good idea of it. So again, I'm going to duplicate it for 10 times so here I've created you know 10 more states here so in the first one uh, you basically want this uh, star to reduce in size because that's going to be the initial state and then it's going to go to the final state so first thing what I'm going to do is we'll highlight these stars based on the count as I told you, these are gonna be the intermediate states. So in this case, we have to reduce this in size. So this is gonna be something like, let's keep it at, you know, uh, four looks good. And if you want a rotation, like, uh, let me just show you the demo once again. So if you can see here, it's basically rotating a bit. If you want that rotation, you basically have to rotate this here as well. The rotation is at zero degrees, right? So if you want that rotation to come in, then you can basically rotate it at uh, 50 degrees or something like that. And then you'll be able to see that uh, increase in size and also the rotation. If you don't want that rotation and you just want to pop it, you can remove this uh, rotation as well, okay? So that is one thing to keep in mind. Here again, I'm gonna reduce this in size. So we'll gradually keep it increasing. So in the the first one this is the only one increasing so that is going to be there and in this one I'll keep it at 8 and this is going to be at 4 so you want these to gradually increase in size so
So I'm using the shift and the option or the alt key so that it remains in the center and you can resize it easily. So make sure you use both the shift and alt while you're resizing it so that it remains in the center position itself. So there we go. Uh, we have done creating the intermediate stage and the final stage looks good. All we got to do is go to the prototype tab right here. Now the hover state is done. So once you're hovering on the first star, you come to this state and let's say the user clicks on this, you want it to navigate to this state. So this is going to be on tap, smart animate, 150 looks good. And from here, you want it to automatically uh, animate to this state here. So in this case, we are going to use an after delay of say one millisecond and we can leave this at 500 milliseconds. And if you want that bounce effect, right, you can go for a custom curve. So if your curve looks something like this, it's going to basically bounce. So you can see a preview here that bounce effect so if you want a more bounce you basically have to increase the curve and you'll be able to see more bouncy effect so that is a custom curve but you don't want that bounce you can always leave it at ease out so we're going to repeat that for all these Okay, uh, so that is done. Uh, I think we forgot to do the on click of this one. So once you click on the second star, you want to navigate to this one and that's going to be on tap smart animate. Let's keep it at ease out and 150 milliseconds. And this one on click, you navigate to the intermediate stage here with the same settings and on click of this, you navigate to this same settings and finally this. So I think we are done, uh, pretty much done creating the states here. So and the prototyping links. So let's quickly see a preview of this. So the hover still works good. And once I click on this, you have that cool bouncy effect. But again, I can't click on any of these. And that is because we have not linked the final states to any of the other uh, states. So for that, uh, let me give you an example here. Once you have basically clicked on the first star, we basically end on this state here. None of these have any prototyping links. So that is why it's not working. So for example, if I link this back to, you know, the second state here, because this is the intermediate state for the second star, and this is gonna be on tap, that looks good. And the third one, I'm gonna link this one here, and this is gonna be linked to this one. And this one was linked to this one. So once I click on the first star, the remaining are going to work. So you got to basically repeat these for all these states. So let's see a demo of this one. So I click on the first star and I'll still be able to click on these stars. So as you can see, that is how it's going to work. So that's it for this video. And I'm surely going to give this file in the description below. So you can always go and uh, duplicate this file and check the prototyping links. So if you can see the prototyping links here, so everything is linked up and that is why I'm able to click this n number of times and it's just gonna work smoothly. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. I hope you found this informative and helpful uh, to understand the interactive components feature. And as always, thanks for watching.